Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I wanted to walk you guys around my house. Basically just my upstairs living area. Since I technically already decorated for spring, I thought I would at least walk you guys through, do like a little spring house tour, and show you guys all of the different items that I got this year and also things that I've thrifted. So I will also include big pieces that I've thrifted, you know, like dining tables, breakfast nooks. I will let you guys know if those things are thrifted but I probably have a video for everything I'm talking about already. So I will have all of those videos linked in the description box below. So for example, if you're wondering about different paint colors I used on different items, or maybe even like the techniques that I used, just be sure to check my description box below and you will find all kinds of videos. So I'm gonna start over here in this corner. This was thrifted and I just painted it. It was $15 at our thrift store. Um, this is just a little greenery from Hobby Lobby. I'm sure that I got it for 50% off. They had these last year at Dollar Tree and I got a bunch of them. I'm not sure if they have them this year, but definitely go and check that out. And these two little bunnies were from Hobby Lobby this year. I try to leave the tags underneath just so I can remember. So these were $5.99 each and they were 40% off. Now this big bunny was 29 and this one's from Hobby Lobby as well. I actually didn't notice until I got home but there's a hole in his ear and I'm so bummed that I didn't see that. So again, I got that one for 40% off and this is again from Dollar Tree. Dollar Tree, Dollar Tree. I know I will get asked about these curtains because I get asked in every single video. So I have a tutorial on how I made these out of paint or drop cloths. So that's all these are. It's way cheaper than to get really nice curtains and they are blackout. So when you pull these shut, you cannot see through them at all. Anyway, I have a video with these curtains and this whole tutorial, so I'll have that linked below. I also actually made this. I thrifted these items. Um, it cost me just a couple dollars to make this hanging scale and I just use a clock at the thrift store. So again, I will have this linked in the description box if you're interested in that video. This cute dresser was also thrifted and I will have this tutorial of me painting it in the description box. This was thrifted and I painted this last year. I'm sure some of you guys will remember that. And the shelf was thrifted as well. Um, these cute little bunnies are actually for name cards. Um, got those at Hobby Lobby this year. I want to say I paid around $1.50 for those. This is from Hobby Lobby because I think I saw that there this year and I actually just painted this from the thrift store. Paid 50 cents for that. Thrift store candlestick. I think this is from Hobby Lobby but I got that a long time ago so I'm not quite sure. If you're seeing any greenery, chances are it's from Hobby Lobby. Now something I actually have started doing since I put these on the, the back of these chairs, the chairs, table, all that's thrifted. I just change out the ribbon and I get the ribbon at Dollar Tree. So all I do is for each holiday, um, I wanted it to be like a cute lavender color because I do have a lot of lavender in here with all of the different flowers I have. So I wanted to incorporate that into the green. So I just got some lavender ribbon, just one spool and I got all four chairs done with just one dollar ribbon. These wreaths were from Hobby Lobby and I actually found them in the wedding section. So if you're looking for them, they are super cute. They're little. I want to say they were maybe $10, 12 and 50% off. So they're not too bad. This wreath I actually picked up this year from Walmart, which is so funny, but it was just like 16 bucks or something. And I thought that was really cute. I was looking for something here because ever since fall time, I hung a wreath here and I've wanted to hang a wreath here every single holiday since. It just adds so much to this whole room. And I love it on this barn door. I know I'm gonna have some of you guys asking where this beautiful plant is from. I cannot remember. It probably is from Hobby Lobby, but I really, I think I've had this for 10 years, so I have no idea where this came from, but I've used it every single spring since I've had it. If you want, open your door. If that's what you want, then baby, try to believe me when I say that you can tell me. 
Now over here in the breakfast nook area, this table, chairs, those were all thrifted. I will try and find this bench linked. I can't really remember where I found that. I think overstock.com. I will look for it and I'll have that linked if I can find it. I thrifted this and I also thrifted these jars and just painted them with chalk paint, did a wet distress and all these flowers are from Hobby Lobby. We did the same curtain theme over here and then this is kind of new. I don't think I've shown this to you guys in a video. I have posted it on my Instagram, but this welcome to the countries from Hobby Lobby. It was like 11 bucks you guys and half price. So that was super affordable. The window frame and the little thing above it. I'm not sure what that's called. Both of those are from Hobby Lobby as well as this wreath. And then my husband actually just made these shutters out of some pieces of wood. And then we just stained them the same color as we stained these beams. So again, this room was a lot of thrifted items, a lot of DIY projects, and a couple of new things. This is something I don't think I've shown you guys in a video again, but this is a sewing machine I picked up at our thrift store. I was going to refinish this, but I actually really love the way it looks and I love the chippy look to it in the original color. Um, so this was thrifted. I actually just picked this up for a couple bucks at the thrift store and I meant to get some candles in here. So I'm kind of sad that they're not lit right now, but I thought that was just really cute for springtime. Then moving on to our mantle area, the garland, the yellow garland is actually thrifted. And then the green garland I purchased off Amazon and I've had that for a little while. Candlesticks are thrifted. This was from Hobby Lobby this year, and this was $5.99. So I probably paid around $3 for this really cute sign. This was actually a $3 item, I believe, in a dollar spot at Target. And goodness, I don't know where this is from. These are from Dollar Tree. And I did have other colors in there. I don't know where they all ended up, but there were more flowers in there. And just because we're in here, this chair was thrifted and this stand that I have my record player on was also thrifted. Okay, we're coming up on one of my favorite thrifted items I found this year and it is this lemon tree. How cute. I am obsessed with this thing. I paid $7 for it and it's really big. And actually today while I was out, I found this really cute lemonade sign. And this was just at like a local boutique. So I'm sorry, I won't have any links for you, but it was just like five bucks. So I had to grab it because I thought it'd be really cute here next to this lemon tree. And if you guys have been following for a while, you know both of my sofas are thrifted. I paid 25 bucks for the two of them. And then I put Serta covers over the top. We just wash them. It's really, really nice and convenient. This pillow I just picked up this year from at home and I think it's so cute. It looks very farmhousey, and this is actually kind of funny. You guys can see the backs. So on the front, this is what it looks like, but at Christmas time, I did these Merry Christmas stamps on the back, but for now I've just been using them um, face the other way. And these are from Dollar Tree and so are the jars. Those are from Dollar Tree as well. I will have the entire video to this living room, how I made this over. The trunk is also thrifted. Um, but I'll have that linked below because I already know I'm gonna get questions and I also have these pillows linked in that video. So if you're wondering about anything in this room, just check out that video and I will have all those linked below. And this was from the dollar spot at Target and this was sold at Christmas time. I don't know if they still have them in that spot. I actually didn't realize I don't have this like thrown on here right. I normally have this displayed, kind of cute and hanging. I just love throws, I don't know if you guys can tell, but I always buy all my throws at the thrift store. That's something I always check for when I go, and I always keep my eye open for cream ones. I feel like I can never have enough of them, so that's just a tip. Okay guys, well that's everything for this video. Thank you so much for watching. If you guys enjoyed it, please be sure to give it a thumbs up and don't forget to hit the red subscribe button. Thanks again and we'll see you guys in the next video.